With the internet being so accessible nowadays, you've probably spent a significant chunk of your time browsing through some incredible videos. But rest assured, there's plenty more out there on the internet you're yet to discover. Ready to have your mind blown? Well, sit back and relax because we're about to show you some things you've never seen before. For years, Red Bull has been much more than just an energy drink. The company has sponsored and organized numerous competitions and events, especially in extreme sports. Furthermore, they choose incredible locations for the tournaments, including incredible cliffs for diving or mountain slopes for paragliding. The company shot this fantastic video at Cranberry Farm in Wisconsin. The idea was simple, wakeboarding on a huge lake with millions of red berries on the surface. You might be surprised to see that this place is full of cranberries. It's not actually because of the way the berry grows, but it's actually how they harvest it. First, the field is flooded with water. Then, a small tractor goes through it, cutting the cranberries, which then rise to the surface. The reason is that the cranberries are empty inside. The experts at Red Bull made this show even more spectacular by adding an extreme twist. This is what they came up with. The company says that no cranberries were harmed in the making of this video. A few years back, a swarm of thousands of bees surrounded the car of an elderly Welsh woman while she was shopping at a nearby shopping center. The reason for this is quite amazing. What happened was that the queen bee got trapped by accident in the trunk of her car. The inhabitants of the hive desperately tried to locate the queen for over 48 hours. As you might already know, in a beehive, there is always a queen bee. She is responsible for reproduction and lives separately to the others. The other two types of bees are drones, which mate with the queen bee, and worker bees. This means that the death of the queen bee usually means the death of the entire hive. Therefore, it's not surprising that the bees in this story were very eager to have their queen bee back. So picture this, you're driving your car when out of nowhere you notice a huge group of ducks roaming the streets. Sounds like a bad dream, right? Well, in the Chinese city of Taishou, this is actually quite the norm, as here lives a farmer who likes to stroll with his animals. At one point, the man chose to walk with his ducks downtown. With the assistance of a stick and a few partners, he assembled 5,000 birds and took a walk. Obviously, when the ducks arrived at the bustling streets, the drivers were furious. Who would like to see 5,000 ducks blocking the road? Some drivers, however, got out of their vehicles to watch this abnormal parade. The the destination of these birds was a huge lake, about half a mile from the street. For the rancher, this journey has long become a habit. He told journalists that he's an expert in controlling his winged creatures and has never lost a duck in all his years of work. In Pakistan and India, a huge grasshopper invasion compounded the already suffering economy. This natural phenomenon truly threatens food security in the two nations. Before the end of May, these unquenchable insects had already annihilated crops in 60 districts of all the four regions of Pakistan. Insects are known to eat everything in their way, from tree husk to seeds and blossoms. For this situation, they've obliterated cotton, sugarcane, orchid, and vegetable harvests. This disaster has happened for the first time in several years, and the potential misfortunes are assessed at about $4 billion. The situation in India is no better. The insects contaminated entire states. State organizations are attempting to spare the crops by utilizing chemicals, but this unfortunately hasn't worked out. All things considered, a single grasshopper swarm can pulverize a ranch in minutes. This is particularly risky since they can travel 190 miles in a single trip. The insects Insects do this regularly when flying over the Red Sea. Furthermore, the closest African nations, where starvation is now a broad issue, are also unfortunately in danger. Mayflies are probably the most seasoned bugs on the planet. The odd part about these animals is that they live for just one day. Well, nearly. First, the hatchlings live in the water for about two years. Then, the caterpillar transforms into something like a butterfly, ascends to the sky, finds a mate, and returns after the deed. Furthermore, this is a massive natural phenomenon. So, in some American states in specific seasons, the roads and vehicles are actually completely covered in dead insects. This 
often occurs in the region near Lake Erie in the east coast of the United States. Occasionally, a whole army of mayflies leave the lake to breed. And as you can imagine, residents of Ohio have to get ready for the arrival of these annoying guests. Incidentally, mayflies can also increase the chances of traffic accidents. But not for the reasons you might think. This is actually due to the fact that the asphalt becomes very slippery because of the creatures, similar to what happens after an ice storm not because of reduced visibility. You probably didn't know this, but butterflies often spend the cold months on faraway lands, just like birds. Basically, they migrate to warmer regions and countries. Every year, about a billion monarch butterflies migrate from the US and Canada to the Mexican city of Michoacan. This journey totals an average of 2,800 miles. Now you're probably wondering how these insects manage to make this crazy journey without getting lost. Yep. Well, it's actually quite simple. The bodies of the butterflies are equipped with a navigation system, similar to a compass, that allows them to know the location of the Earth's magnetic pole and fly in the right direction. To help the butterflies throughout the winter and to safeguard their temporary home, the Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve was created in Mexico, covering more than 200 square miles. In this video, you can see the place this all-encompassing view was recorded through the help of little cameras embedded in the body of a hummingbird robot. There are such an incredible amount of butterflies on the tree branches that they completely cover the tree. When watching this video, you might think you were just staring at a forest in autumn on a windy day. Several years ago, beekeepers in the northeast of France witnessed a unique and very bizarre phenomenon. Bees, for no apparent reason, began producing colored honey. What's the issue with that, you might ask? After all, honey actually comes in a variety of colors. White, yellow, amber, orange, these are all quite normal. But the thing is, the honey that the beekeepers found in the combs had unnatural colors. Blue, green, bright yellow, and red. Maybe these were Gen Z bees who wanted to spice things up with trendy new honey colors, right? Well, not really. See, bees are very old-fashioned insects that have not changed the color of their honey for years. The workers had to run a small investigation, and to their surprise, the reason for the unusual color was actually candy. Yes, candy. The beehives were located near the biogas plant, which used waste from a candy factory as raw material. The candy was stored in non-sealed containers, so the bees found it and couldn't deny themselves the pleasure. Unfortunately, no one had the chance to try the green honey. The product actually had a very unusual taste, so the beekeepers decided not to sell it. Which one of these did you like the most? Let us know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe to never miss out on future content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.